Hello everybody, welcome to Game Titan. I've been meaning to get back on to creating new videos for quite a while now and I really apologize to anyone who has been waiting patiently for that. I wanted to jump back in the water with something that wouldn't take too much time and I discovered that there's this website called Coding Game which really ties into my interests around learning code and learning and making learning fun because they have created a, a both competitive and non-competitive way to practice writing code and learning how to problem solve. And they had this feature where if you are a Twitch streamer and add the word coding game to your stream title, it should show up on this page here. And if I've done everything correctly, which I'm completely not sure that I have, uh, this stream may show up on this page, because I think, let me actually just check, I think that this stream title actually says coding game in it on Twitch. So hopefully, if that works, then this should show up on this page at some point after a few minutes. Anyway, even if it doesn't, I thought that I would spend a few minutes at least doing something on here just to create a new video and say hi. Uh, and thank you for uh, everyone who is watching. Uh, so one of the fastest activities here on Coding Game is, um, let's see if I can even find it. is called uh, Clash of Code and Clash of Code has these very simple programming problems uh, very very small programming problems some of them are simple and some of them are less simple where people can join um, and all work on the same problem at the same time and you can either race to see who finishes first or uh, try to figure out what the problem statement is from the examples of inputs and outputs that they give you or uh, try to write the shortest possible piece of code. So that looks like a bunch of people. Let's get started. So here uh, this is a reverse mode where you have to look at the inputs and guess what the outputs should be. So here we have uh, zero zeros and a's and x's uh, and it looks like if this this first input is a one then you should use um, the same cell from the second uh, third box and if it's a zero then you should use the cell from the first box is that right these are all zeros so it's on the first box these are all ones so it's right these are all let's see one one is uh, a b yeah i think that's right so here we have some lines, and we're going to need to split this into three different arrays. Um, so we'll say that um, I want to say A, A, B, and C to be look about this. A, B, and C are all arrays. Oops, sorry, I'm going to type on lists. And then we'll need to split this line, and we'll have to say. Um, uh, so Z. We'll just assume that there's three, three space separate words per line. We'll say A dot append X, B dot append Y, and C dot append Z. And so what we should have now is each of these uh, arrays in A, B, and C. So we're going to have to assume, since we're timed here, um, we'll say that the uh, row is going from um, 0 to the length of A, and then we'll say for a column A, and, oh, and someone's already submitting, and, uh, and got it correct. And we'll say if row 
a of u and all um, is equal to zero, then we want to start with an empty string. If it's zero, then we want to say line. Uh, if it's zero, we want to take the first item. And if it's one, we want to take the second as the second uh, grid. And then uh, we'll print the line out. And hopefully that doesn't work at all. Let's see. Not in a function on line 17. So this yes, colon. Line 17. There's a dot over here. Int has no length. Uh, so a is on the side line 17. Oh, wait. No, is actually an integer. Now, this isn't working because we have b here. And we're expecting a, 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 a. So let's see what we have. This is actually kind of difficult while talking out loud at the same time. To make sure that these arrays are correct. Yeah. yeah, that looks correct to me. So the problem is in here somewhere. So we're always going zero, zero, 1, but columns are, oh, <laughs> right. Uh, we need to say, a of row and the length of that. So the issue was that the column was only going up to the, the row, so that's what we're going to try and do. Alright, this looks better. Now column's going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 each time. So we don't need to put these out anymore. And that looks good. And everything looks good. So we submit, fortunately, in third place, but hopefully as I get, oops, Hopefully as I get better at this, I'll be able to talk out loud and think through the problem at the same time. So that was my quick little stream to partially test that everything is still hooked up with my streaming setup and to see if, oh, get a better job, there we go. To see, uh, and let me actually just check, to see if I show up here on the Live streams page and there I am how exciting great right. thank you for anyone who uh, saw this and I am happy to be back and hopefully this will be the start of a new habit to stream much more regularly I'm looking forward to it a lot thanks and see you next time